As you're well aware, if you're a member of the channel, I'm an owner of the collaboration of Omega and Swatch, the infamous Moon Swatch. So when I got an email, followed by a package from Horace Straps, I was absolutely thrilled. As it turns out, they make an integrated or fitted strap for the Moon Swatch. Let's check it out. Watch time. You know I'm a pocket watch fan. Pocket watch time. I've got loads of pocket watches. I collect pocket watches. Welcome to another episode of Pocket Watch Time. My name is Patrick W. On this episode, we're taking a look at Horace straps. Full transparency, Horace sent me these straps for free. I'm not getting paid for this promotion. This isn't an advertisement. This is an honest review. I've got good things to say. I've got bad things to say. My opinion can never be bought. Not only was Horace nice enough to send me a strap, they actually sent me several. So for this divisive collaboration between Omega and Swatch, this Moon Swatch has some options today. These two straps are integrated. That means they're form-fitted to specifically fit the Moon Swatch. Horace sent me two fitted straps. They sent me the black strap with yellow highlights, and they sent me the yellow strap with white highlights. As you can see here, the yellow is a little bit not the same color, but actually I think that's an advantage. I don't really want it just to be a washed out bland yellow. The yellow they chose is actually pretty vibrant. So I'm going to do something a little silly here first. I'm going to attach the black to one end and the yellow to the other end. This will give me a quick opportunity to see both colors on the watch. And hey, maybe I can figure out which one's my favorite. Installing the strap is actually pretty easy. The only issue I had, which is actually a good issue, is that the rubber is actually quite thick in the area. The tolerance of the rubber between the lugs is quite tight, and that's a good thing. The cutout for access to the spring bars is actually quite wide which is nice because then it's not too hard to get your tool in there to get that spring bar to pop in. And speaking of pops, I love that sound. All right, we got the black side on, and first impressions, it's a good fit. Looking at the top here, I don't really see any gapping. The sides of the strap flare down a bit, which is good. It'll allow it to fit a smaller wrist. I do notice when I shake the strap, it actually has a little bit of a wobble between the rubber and the case, but it doesn't seem to affect the fitment. On the wrist with it pushed tight, you still don't see a gap. So I guess that little jiggle when you give it a hard jiggle is something I can live with. So here we can see the black strap in part. My first impression is actually a weird one. I actually like the look of the strap on the watch, but I like it when it's not on my wrist. That's kind of an odd commentary and I'll explain a little bit more. I think the black strap looks good, but I think it looks better when you can see more of the strap. When you're looking down on the watch and you're just seeing the head of the watch, I sort of think the black just isn't enough. You see a little peak of black and it's just confusing because there's not really much black on the watch. But hey, that's just my opinion. And maybe I'll like it better when I put the whole watch on the black strap. So now we're gonna put the yellow strap on the other side and see which strap is a little bit more complimentary. Once again, tight tolerance of the rubber, that's great. Easy access to the spring bars. And oh, that wonderful sound. Now this look is a watch that only a mother could love. If you're brave enough to rock this style, please send me a photo. The young kids are wearing different colored socks these days. Maybe this is the hit new trend. So on the wrist, you can kind of see what I was talking about. I actually think this watch looks great on the black strap from the side view. And same with the yellow strap now seen for the first time. That yellow is a really vibrant color. I like it. All right, now in all seriousness, we get to see the watch on the solid black strap. And as I said, from the front here, it looks okay. From the side, I think it looks really good. The advantage of this strap, it's just a bit more conservative. You get that little pop of yellow, but it's all in all the black strap. I think when we get this watch on the yellow strap, You've got to be pretty brave to wear an all yellow watch. Once again, a little bit of a wiggle when you shake the strap, but it doesn't affect the strap at all. The integration is really good. The sides flare down. It's a nice looking strap. And so now we see the strap on the yellow. Wow, that's a lot of yellow. But I have to say so far, I think I prefer this yellow version. I think it just complements the watch better. What better than a bright yellow strap for a bright yellow watch? And I think that white highlight just tones it down a little bit. So actually, I think I really prefer that. So I'm actually pretty surprised how much that feature is important. Speaking of small features you might not notice, the strap also has a step. So there's a central thicker portion, and then it steps down just a little bit at the edges of the strap. Just a nice touch to make the strap look a bit more finished. All right, I was keeping a secret from you. Horace sent me a third strap for the Moon Swatch. 
This one's not integrated. This is just a regular universal strap, but this universal strap is in white, and that's a color that I think really goes well with this watch. After looking at the other choices on their website, I'm really surprised they don't make a white strap with a yellow highlight. I think that would look really nice on this watch. The previous strap I had this watch on was a white rubber strap. It wasn't a very good quality rubber strap, but even a low cost, low quality strap is better than the original strap that the Moon Swatch comes on. Ugh. So similarly, this non-integrated watch strap has tight tolerances from the rubber, but is a little bit more difficult to put into the watch because it doesn't have a cutout, and of course it shouldn't have a cutout, for the spring bars. I'm not sure if Horace makes rubber straps with quick release mechanisms in them, but if they don't, they should. It definitely makes switching out straps a heck of a lot easier. And if it's easier to switch out straps, it's easier to buy more straps. Okay, in all seriousness, let's take a look at Horace straps. Comparing this white strap to the cheap strap I bought on Amazon.com, you can definitely tell a difference in quality. The Horace strap has a soft suppleness to it that this cheap Amazon strap just doesn't come close to. The Amazon strap is pretty hard, pretty firm, kind of feels like the side of a rough shoe. So obviously if I was going to pick one strap over the other, I would definitely pick the Horace. But here comes the big issue. The price. Obviously a $20 strap on Amazon, well, it's only 20 bucks. And Horace straps are definitely a lot more expensive than that. Horace sells a fine array of straps, some that are fitted and integrated, and some that will fit any lug width. And their prices definitely reflect that. This fitted strap comes in at $235. Is that a bit high? I gotta say probably. It's not the worst price strap out there, <coughs> rubber B, but it's definitely not the most reasonable option either. Good news for you today, as well as sending me these straps, Horace Straps also gave me a promo code. 25% off. Just use the code POCKETWATCHTIME. All one word. So that changes things a bit for me. 25% off is a pretty good discount. That's about 60 bucks off. So that turns this strap into about $170. And similar to the strap that I recently reviewed for Grand Seiko, $170 for a fitted strap, of course is a little pricey, but I think is fair. So if you've got a moon swatch and you want to get a nice fitted strap for it, please use the promo code. That definitely brings this strap back down to a more realistic price. But now let's get back to the dilemma that we have, given that I've got three beautiful straps for this moon swatch. I of course have the vibrant yellow, the conservative white, and the stealthy black. So which watch do you prefer? I think I still prefer the yellow. The yellow just gives it a nice pop of color, and I think makes this particular model really stand out. Of course, depending on what watch you've got, you'll have to go to Horace Strap's website and see what works best for you. Thanks for watching. If you're new to my channel, please subscribe to Pocket Watch Time. Pocket Watch Time. I have lots of reviews on watches and on pocket watches. If you've got any questions or comments, please leave them below. Thanks for watching. I'll catch you in the next one.